Welcome to the WRB Ministries Bible Study YouTube channel. Today I have with me Dr. Walter Randall Bannister, the founder and CEO of WRB Ministries. This is your second YouTube channel. Why a second channel? My first channel only allows me 15 minutes. I needed more time, my Bible studies are about 30 minutes. This second channel allows me more time. What denomination are you? I'm a Christian. I am not affiliated with any denomination whatsoever. I think Jesus Christ said it best when he said, follow me. Jesus Christ did not start the different denominations, man did. The different denominations pick and chose what they like from the word of God and add their own thoughts which takes them away from the teachings of Jesus Christ. Paul warns us about this in Colossians 2, 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. Do you study with Pastor Arnold Murray? Yes I do study with Pastor Murray from the Shepherd's Chapel. Also, I do not speak from Shepherd's Chapel in any way, I'm just a student. What study tools do you use? I use the Companion Bible and the Strong's Exhaustive Concordance. I also use the Abrahamic Covenant, the Apocrypha, the Atlas of the Bible Lands, the Book of Biblical Mathematics, Discovering God's Natural Truth, the Inner Linear Bible, and Tracing Our Ancestors. Can we use and post your studies and quizzes on other YouTube channels or on other social medias? Sure. You can repost our studies and quizzes to help plant seeds to others as long as you do not change the study or quiz in any way. Do you follow Christian identity teachings? No. Christian identity teaches that the white race is the true Israel and therefore better than all the other races. While some people from the white race are part of Israel, not all are. First off, all the races were created on the sixth day, including the white race. Adam from the Garden of Eden was created on the eighth day. From Adam to Abraham, there are twenty generations. Luke 3 34 through 38. Taking the twenty generations and the sixth day creation into account, there are many from the white race that are not part of true Israel. Second, God made his covenant with Abraham in Genesis 15. God also talked about the covenant in Genesis 17 and told Abraham in Genesis 17:21 that he would establish his covenant with his son Isaac. God then passed on the covenant to Isaac's son Jacob in Genesis 28. 10 through 22 Jacob had his name changed to Israel by God in Genesis 32. 24 through 32 and it is Jacob's 12 sons that make up the 12 tribes of Israel. Genesis 49. To be part of true Israel, your roots would have to go back to these people. Third, in Acts 10 34 through 35 it tells us that God does not play favorites. Fourth, under the new covenant with Jesus Christ, any person that is faithful to God and Jesus Christ are blessed with faithful Abraham. Galatians 3, 6 through 9. Even as Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Know ye therefore that they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. And the scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the heathen through faith, preached before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, In thee shall all nations be blessed. So then they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. And Galatians 3 26 through 29. For ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither bond nor free, there is neither male nor female, for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. And if ye be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed, and heirs according to the promise. What church do you go to? I do not go to church. The reason is because most churches follow the traditions of men and not the true word of God. We are warned about this in Romans 16 17 through 18 Colossians 2, 8 and 2 Corinthians 6 14 through 18 as the Bible teaches us, if you cannot find a church that teaches the truth, it is better not to go at all. If you want to know if your church is one that teaches the truth, read Revelation 2. 1 to 3 22 7 churches are talked about and Jesus Christ only found two that had no faults. Those are the churches of Smyrna and Philadelphia. What they teach that the others do not is who the Canites are. 
They are the sons of Cain whose father is Satan and they claim to be part of the tribe of Judah who are the Jewish people. You can find more information on Cain and his father, Satan in our study on the Garden of Eden. If you're not in a church that teaches you that, God's word tells us that you should leave. I read the Bible and let God guide me on what to do, Romans 16, 17 through 18 says. Now I beseech you, brethren, Mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. Tell us more about yourself. I'm 51 years old. I was born in Atlanta, Georgia. I was born on Thanksgiving Day, November 24, 1960. I moved to California in December 1980. I've never been married and do not have any children. I have had a love for God even as a child but I did not start really studying the Bible until 1990. I have been working on my Bible study courses since November 25, 1997 and it is a lot of fun. I enjoy sharing the Word of God with others as I know it can change a person's life. John chapter 10 verses 27 through 30 says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life. And they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one.